Okay, so we are going. In this stuff. Oh, we don't need it's salad and vegetables. <laughs> okay, this is all you're going to be needing for our crazy appetizer. So, first you're going to be needing a frying pan. pan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, again, I'm going to show you guys the things. We have so, feta cheese, some more cheese, oh, we have two cheese. and then some peppers. So now, it doesn't really matter what color peppers. Um, just you try no yeah. dill peppers. No, no dill. dill peppers because it just will taste stink. So we're going to yeah, be so using this pan. Frying pan. And so let's see. Make sure you guys can see it. And we're also going to be using a lot of seasons. So like some salt and some pepper and a little bit touch of like garlic powder maybe. If you guys have that. Yeah. Um, here, I'll put it down because mine doesn't do that. It goes right here. Yeah. Okay. So, so here are our ingredients. So we're going to be setting these aside. So you're going to need to set your stove to four, like in between four and five. It needs to be a low four, not a high four. Yeah. Okay. Or so else we'll burn really easily, and you don't want that to burn really quickly. You probably want some Pam olive oil, which is good. It makes it non-sticky. So you don't want to put too much. Yeah. You just want to put just the right amount. And yeah. make sure, yeah, like you don't want it to stick to the pan. Or it would just not taste good and just have that yeah. panny taste, I guess you could say. So you guys are going to cut the peppers. So we need to get a knife. I'm going to cut them too. A steak knife. So we're going to be cutting the oh, stems. Wait, let that warm up. Don't yeah. actually. I'm going to cut one more. Cut the stems off the peppers and then you need to cut them into slices. It doesn't really matter which colors you have at all. Yeah. It just doesn't, just doesn't go to that. So Three slices. So then we're going to throw them in the pan. I've never had a pepper in my life. I don't like peppers at all. I just I don't either. This is going to be like a new thing for us. So, um, get ready. So this is a should they look like regular little like, um, pepper kind of things. You can add some as you go. Um, I don't know what we're going to do with the ricotta cheese. <laughs> um, we're going to be using ricotta cheese kind of as a, um, as a topping. Yeah. So first, you're gonna sprinkle some feta cheese onto the peppers, and this will give it a nice, good taste. The feta cheese tastes really good when you fry it in the fryer. So um, so it's, it's really very good. colorful. Which you can also good. now you can add uh, the cheese. You want this to melt. Yes, but we're not gonna add it quite. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You gotta let it a little bit settle down. Okay. So I'm gonna cut some more peppers. Yeah. Me too. Where's the other knife? Oh here. Make it that one then. Let me use this knife. So if you want, you guys can cut a little bit more peppers because you don't. You're not cutting. You're not just gonna. You're not just gonna have. So you don't like kill yourself. You should get this thing. Yeah, it's a cutting board. Yeah. And this just basically helps cutting. So you're not gonna put. Um, if you only if it's for uh, because this is crazy kitchen, we always have to use crazy ingredients. But we do have our viewers pick out the ingredients. Yeah. So, so you guys you, can comment down below what kind of ingredients you want me yeah, to use or her. Um. We do sometimes collab, actually, we sometimes we, um, collab probably a lot. Also, it doesn't matter the size of the peppers. Um, the medium size is fine, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah. We do this for your entertainment, so. If it doesn't turn out right, you know. Well, actually, we're, we're good at cooking. I'm good at cooking. So am you, you can good, yeah. See, we're both we're, That's why we're making a cage kitchen. Um, also, you guys, if you guys like this series, then... Comment. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to be taking the cheese stick. I can kind of hear it starting to sizzle. So I'm going to break the cheese sticks into little pieces and like throw them Let in Let me see there. the one piece. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do with the now one piece. Now we're going to heat it up to five from four. Yeah, because you want to like, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this one little block of cheese that she gave me and I'm going to cut in little pieces because you, I want to have it melt. Yeah. So and you guys are going to need a stir thingy. So you can like start to stir. Kind of like if you're gonna get a rice, if you have a rice cooker, you just like use that kind of pan. Um, again, these are the peppers we use. Um, if you guys from wanna, Costco, yeah. so, you guys can get so that. also there's a uh, ingredients in the back, nutrition um, facts. This is a healthy snack, but it's probably something you've never tried. This yeah. Um, also, you want, make sure the the cheese is melted and the ricotta cheese as well because you always want to have a little extra it's touch to it. It's feta cheese, not ricotta cheese. I said ricotta, didn't I? Yeah. Um, also, I'm going to be making, like, you make that, I'm going to be making something else, and this is basically just your little other... It's a side dish. It's a side dish. This is a side dish. Um, you can be needing is a little bit, also, you can add a little bit of lemon juice or lime juice to the peppers. Yeah, I forgot to say, we need lime juice. Just one. Just one. So, um, and you can have a little bit, definitely a little bit of zest. So, one, two, three, four, five, that's all I'm you need. I'm going to be taking some carrots and 
this lettuce um, thing, and this is just gonna make a little healthy salad for the side. Okay, so I have some steaks in here for the pesto. It's so very light. This is gonna be very spicy. And you're actually gonna not just you're not gonna take the thing. You're just gonna take a bunch of lettuce, and then you can cut the carrots as many times as you want. You also we're gonna also probably gonna put the peppers in there with the lettuce. So this is kind of like a Mexican dish, I'd say. A little bit of salad. So for all of you who like crazy Mexican food, crazy Mexican crazy. food. So yeah, this is crazy we're kitchen, show, guys. We're gonna show you guys what this looks like. And my she's gonna show you guys what that looks like. She's going to. I'm gonna be cutting some salad, little like salad things. This is what it looks like. It's kind of gross. <laughs> but it, it, it tastes really good. Again, it's Crazy Kitchen. It might not look good, but also I'm really good at presentations yeah. for things. So, so again, you just want to chop up the lettuce. So I'm going to spray it with more palm oil because it's starting to stick. Big lettuce. No sticking is allowed because you will ruin your frying pan and then you waste your money on frying pan. And also you will ruin the peppers because they might be burnt or... Um, yeah. Okay, so, so we're going to cool yeah. this down. I'm going to put it on low so it just heats up. This dish is complete. So, yeah. Yeah. See, that's how simple this is. Also, like, take the carrot sticks in here and you just want to chop them up a little bit because you don't want to use too much. So you just want to have them a little bit because you just put it on top of the little salad. So you can also put this in a bowl, a plate. It doesn't really matter. Thank you. For a drink, you guys don't really have anything for a drink. Um, I know there is people that do use Crazy Kitchen for like special drinks, which I don't really, you don't really need to do that. Oh, I forgot to add something to this dish. So for this dish, we are adding ginger ale. Oh, okay. Again, it's called Crazy Kitchen. So if you guys remember, guys, if you guys want to comment anything for like different kinds of ingredients, you have, you can do. So somebody commented this in one of our videos to put That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, it looks gross. I hope this isn't gross because this was a waste of food. Yeah, but we did. We know how to cook grills, but we just don't. I mean, it's a crazy kitchen for a reason, you know? We have to use crazy ingredients. Ugh. That's good. So, again, comment, guys. Just don't put anything too crazy. Actually, you're not good for it. It's crazy kitchen. So, um, I made a salad. I made a salad, and this is just a good salad to put. And this is just going to be putting um, maybe a little bowl, and you put the peppers in it along. Yeah, it's going to yeah. go around with this food garnish. It's going to look really pretty. And you also can add a little bit of seasoning to everything. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm turning the burner off. It's good. And if you're cooking something like this on the grill, because for like um, some shish kebabs, you can use this. And this is actually really good on some things I know, like hamburgers and peppers and just kebabs. So this is what the salad looks like. So I'm just going to toss the salad. This is a good vegetarian dish. This is what it all looks like. It's kind of... Ah! No! Put it back in there. Okay, yes. so again, you can chop up a pepper. Um, I think... Huh? So you want to take a bowl or anything like this. This is a good enough bowl because you just want to add the salad as well. And you can add a couple extra peppers, but um, I'm going to add these a little bit to the garnish because you want to, if it's a salad, you want the cold and warm to go together. So I'm just going to add a little bit of peppers. And you want to put the um, things on top first. So you're going to put the salad on first. Ooh, those are just kind of good, just to be honest. Really? Yeah, this, I, mean, I mean, this looks like, like at a Mexican restaurant, I guess you could say. And then you can top it off with a little tiny bit of these little pepper, little flakes. So, yeah. This is what it looks like, guys. I mean, it's it doesn't gross, look... gross, but good. <laughs> it's yeah. a healthy dish. Yeah, <laughs> but it, we're going to try it. Yeah. And if it tastes good, thumbs up. And thank yeah. you, guys. So... Oh, how about let's see some on camera? So... Thank you guys. Um, please subscribe and like. She's going to try it. Please tell me if it's gross because I don't like peppers. You got. I mm, that salad. Get a real pepper. No, I don't like peppers. Just try it. Little pepper, that's it. Is it good? <laughs> I mean, it tastes good. Like, we did good on that. We did a good job. It's just hot. It's just hot. No, it's just. I don't like peppers. 
but I do like everything we put together. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you guys do like yeah. that um video and the food, yeah. Also, guys, remember comment and subscribe. Yeah. Comment in the comments for uh, some new Grace Kitchen ideas. I think yeah. that ginger ale will add that flavor to it. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Bye. Please like and subscribe.